the history of the Baltimore Ravens. Not because of any moves on the roster, but because of a handoff in the front office. Yeah, WMAR 2 Sean Stepner tells us all about it from Owings Mills. It is a changing of the guard inside the building known as the castle. You take that baton and it's, you know it's coming at a good pace. After 18 years serving as president of the Baltimore Ravens, Dick Cass retiring, Sashi Brown to take his place. I've enjoyed coming to work every day. I have a high degree of confidence that Sashi is just going to be a, do an excellent job. Since 2004, the 76-year-old Cass has been owner Steve Bishotti's right-hand man, his mouthpiece and representative for non-football operations. He has overseen all business areas of the organization, stadium improvements, and most recently led the franchise through the challenges created by the pandemic. I'm really proud of the way that we have really developed into an organization that people look to with a lot of pride. Cass says Bishotti tasked him with finding his replacement from outside the organization. They did not hire a search firm. Brown comes over from D.C. after three years as president of Monumental Basketball, overseeing the NBA's Wizards, WNBA's Mystics, and G League's Go-Go. He has also served in the front offices of the Jacksonville Jaguars and Cleveland Browns. He originally met Cass working at his law firm in the early 2000s. Certainly uh, have some big shoes to fill, but I'm excited about the opportunity that uh, he and Steve have afforded me here. The 45-year-old joined the Ravens about a month ago. Long term, you know, the sustained success is really the focus here. That's been the calling card of the Ravens uh, and will continue to be. Brown becomes only the second African-American team president in the National Football League. He feels that number needs to grow. And to the extent that my example can, can, uh, can certainly open up some doors, then, then great. Um, but I hope it's not contingent upon the success of, of one individual. I think this is something that, that we as a league, we as an organization need to be committed to, regardless of your background. The cast still has a week to go before Brown takes over. That transition becomes effective next Friday, April 1st. In Owings Mill, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News.